Tory MP Miriam Cates calls for better safeguard of children amid gender identity debate. Former Tory MP Miriam Cates has called for sex education to be scrapped as a subject at school to protect children from dangerous ideologies. She also accused the Conservatives of failing to resist the radicalization of children when it comes to gender issues. When asked about safeguarding issues at schools, Ms. Cates said, I would scrap RS. The purpose of schools is to teach knowledge and skills that have been established, so that you are teaching things that have stood the test of time, she said. The problem with teaching anything that is actually values, rather than knowledge or skills, is that it is contested and that there is no knowledge. It doesn't matter whether it is citizenship or sex education. These are all values and opinion-based. Where a teacher can't be expert in those, in a way that they are expert in maths or science. And therefore it is immediately contested. Mrs. Cates added, sex education is a psychological experiment because who knows what teachers teaching children about what is and isn't morally acceptable sexually is going to do to a generation of children. Since September 2020, relationships education has been compulsory for all pupils receiving, while relationships and sex education for all pupils receiving secondary education. Ms. Cates said the rise of gender critical issues and the lack of safeguarding of children has happened, despite the Conservative government. Speaking at a panel at the Tory party conference, she added, I don't think we can completely blame the Conservative government for what happened. However they were not quick enough to identify what was happening and to res The packed room and panel, including gender critical activist Maya Forstater, applauded Rosie Duffield who quit the Labour Party in part over his stance on the issue. The former Labour MP, a supporter of women's rights in gender debates, said Keir Starmer has a problem with women after writing a scathing resignation letter.